Test-driven development is not dead. It is actually one of the most powerful and valuable skills that we need to be able to work with AI. When we can assert the behaviors that we want to create and have AI fulfill them, then we've realized a major milestone working with AI for building software. How do we do that? Let's dive in. Hello world, I'm David Scott Bernstein. Let's talk about test-first development and AI. This is a practice where we create an assertion before we actually write the code. And you know, this is a common practice in human behavior all over the place. Like this is the scientific method, right? Before you actually do the experiment, you have a hypothesis. So it's, it's kind of a misnomer, like many of the things that we use in software development to call it a test because it's not a test, it's an assertion. It's a theory. We're hypothesizing how the behavior that we wanna create will behave. And when we do that, when we create the assertion, uh, then what we do then is to try to fulfill it by, by actually making the code do that behavior that we're trying to validate. And when the code does it, the assertion then passes and we see the green bar and uh, joyously. And so that's the whole idea in test first development is to build software through like a query, a question and an answer. This is the little behavior I want to create. This is how I know that it'll be done. And then see it fail because it's not created yet, right? That's called the red bar because it gives us a red bar to show us that it failed. And then we make it pass, um, typically in the simplest way possible. And then we see it pass and we see the green bar. And we do this over and over and over again. And it's a very powerful discipline for building software. It's something that it's for a lot of things in software development, you got to experience just like sports. <laughs> you got to like play tennis. You can't read books. You got to like actually swing a racket. You, you can read some books, you can learn some things, but you got to also experience it. The experience of seeing your tests catch a defect that you would not have normally noticed and you seeing, seeing it and fixing it within a matter of seconds, rather than having it go to quality assurance and having it be brought back to you a week later and having to spend hours trying to find it and go back to that context. Being able to solve it that quick changes everything. It changes how you think about and build software. And th that's how you get superpowers as a software developer. And you can do this all without AI. This is test first development. This is my favorite practice in software development. And this is also a very, very simple common sense practice. What is it? It's fundamentally triangulation. You know, this is how we navigated the stars. What we're doing is we're taking multiple perspectives. This is also one of the greatest benefits of AI for humanity is it gives us new perspectives. That's what test first development does. It gives us the perspective of the outside in. And we need this because as developers, when we're building out a feature, we oftentimes think from the inside out and get lost. So thinking from the outside in and thinking about how do we interface with this piece? How does this piece fit with other pieces? Make systems more scalable, more extensible, more validatable. And those are the virtues of great software. These are the key qualities that I think are the foundation of understanding and working with AI and building software that lasts. I built a playlist. The hierarchy of software concepts includes virtues and what clean code is. Check it out. I think you'll find it a great place to start.